On April 20th, 2026, something extraordinary will happen. A visitor from the outer edges of our solar system, possibly making its one and only pass through our inner realm, will swing around the sun just 47 million miles away. And exactly one week later, on April 27th, it comes within 44 million miles of Earth, close enough that you might see it with your own eyes, close enough that it could become what astronomers call a great comet, the kind that gets talked about for generations. Welcome back. Its official designation is C2025R3 Panstars, discovered on September 8th last year by a pair of telescopes atop a volcano in Hawaii. The automated system, constantly scanning the sky, flagged something moving against the background stars, something that wasn't there before. Follow-up observations confirmed it. A new comet inbound, and the preliminary calculations suggested something unusual. This wasn't just another faint telescopic object. The trajectory, the timing, the geometry of its approach, everything pointed to a potentially spectacular show. Here's what makes this different. When C2025 R3 reaches perihelion on April 20th, it passes between Mercury and Venus. That close solar heating triggers what astronomers call outgassing. Frozen volatiles locked in the nucleus for potentially millions of years suddenly vaporize. Water, ice, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, all streaming away at hundreds of meters per second, forming a glowing coma that can grow larger than Jupiter. And behind it, a tail stretching millions of miles across space. But here's where it gets interesting. The brightness predictions span an enormous range. Conservative estimates suggest magnitude 8, visible only through binoculars or small telescopes. Nothing special. But optimistic models hint at magnitude 3 or brighter. That's naked eye territory. That's visible from suburban backyards, not just dark sky sites. That's the difference between a curiosity and an event. What do you think? Will this comet deliver? Or will it fizzle like so many before it? Write your prediction in the comments. The orbital mechanics tell a fascinating story. SILS 2025 R3 follows what's called a nearly parabolic trajectory, inclined at 125 degrees to the plane of our solar system. That extreme angle suggests this is a long period comet, possibly making its first journey through the inner solar system in millions of years, or perhaps it's on a hyperbolic orbit. If that's confirmed, C Celis 25 R3 isn't bound to our sun at all, it's passing through once and never coming back. April 2026 might be humanity's only chance to see it. Think about that for a moment. An object that formed 4.6 billion years ago in the outer reaches of our solar system, finally responding to some gravitational nudge, beginning its long fall toward the sun. And we happen to be here, with telescopes and cameras and the knowledge to appreciate what we're seeing. Now, there's a phenomenon that could dramatically boost this comet's visibility, something called forward scattering. In late April, C2025 R3's position places it between Earth and the Sun. Sunlight reflecting off the dust particles in the comet's tail comes almost directly toward us. This geometry can increase apparent brightness by several magnitudes. Comets that pass through this configuration, comets that were predicted to be faint, suddenly became spectacular. Will C2025 R3 follow that pattern? We're about to find out. The viewing window opens in mid-April for Northern Hemisphere observers. Look to the eastern sky before dawn. The comet rises ahead of the sun, appearing low on the horizon in the constellation Pisces, near the great square of Pegasus. And here's something working in our favor. New moon falls on April 17th, just three days before perihelion. Dark skies, no lunar interference. If this comet is going to shine, we'll have the best possible conditions to see it. Southern Hemisphere observers get their chance in early May, when C2025 R3 transitions into the evening sky after sunset. The geometry works differently from southern latitudes, potentially offering clearer views as the comet climbs higher above the horizon. But, and here's the reality check, comets are unpredictable. We've seen this before. Predictions circulate, media coverage builds, and then nothing. Remember Comet Isone in 2013? Predicted to be the comet of the century. It disintegrated before perihelion. Or Comet Kohoutek in 19... Your generation might remember that one. Massive hype. Disappointing reality, yet sometimes comets exceed expectations. SU 2025 R3 is already surprising astronomers. Early observations show it brightening faster than initial models predicted. The nucleus appears active even at its current distance. That's encouraging. That suggests a comet with plenty of volatile material, plenty of fuel for the show ahead. This comes after an unusually active period for comet watching. 2024 and 2025 gave us multiple naked eye comets. The Devil Comet 12P Pons Brooks C2024 G3 Atlas C2025 A6 Lemon 
and of course the Interstellar Visitor 3i Atlas, which exceeded all brightness predictions, are we entering a golden age of comets? Or is this just statistical clustering? What's your take? Share your thoughts below. NASA and professional observatories worldwide are already preparing. Hubble Web ground-based instruments, all positioning for optimal observation windows. The data collected won't just give us pretty pictures. It tells us about the comet's composition, its rotation rate, its outgassing patterns. Every comet carries information about conditions in the early solar system. SECA 2025 R3, with its extreme orbit, might reveal insights we've never had access to before. So mark your calendars, April 2026. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, set your alarm for pre-dawn hours in mid to late April. Find a spot with a clear Eastern horizon. Bring binoculars if you have them. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, early May evenings are your window. And if this comet delivers, if it becomes that rare spectacular visitor, you'll witness something that might not happen again in your lifetime. Thank you for watching, and if you think C2025 R3 will become a great comet or just another disappointment, let me know in the comments. Until next time,